No, you've not got any chicken <laughs> pie on it. <laughs> Still a bit damp. <laughs> right. Ooh, Jonathan, before chicken. we... It's yeah, tarragon as well. Yeah. Before we go any further, congratulations on the best set of reviews I think I've, I've ever seen for a West End play. Five stars all the way along. Harold Pinter, The Caretaker. Not the easiest piece of work, and I've been reading you being interviewed saying, the more you delve into it, the less you feel you know. It's an astonishing play. Now, tell us uh, a bit about well, it. Well, it, it, it's, it actually becomes the, the, the opposite. You do, the more you do it, so the, the more you find out about it, and the more... Um, it, it, what's wonderful about the piece and why I chose it is it, it's a very much a theatre piece. Um, yeah, it's been made into film, and I did record it for the television in 1980, but it's, it is very theatrical, and it's something you can do eight times a week, which is what we have to do, and you can keep discovering new things. In it. So every time, you're even coming back to it now then, having done it before, you found new things in it that you didn't find before? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, were, uh, it was 30 years ago when they did it first, and I played the young man, Mick. I played the old man now. <laughs> That's life, Jonathan. That is life. Yeah, <laughs> it catches up with you. But it's really the, the meatiest of the parts, I think, is the yeah, I remember is. seeing years ago Donald Pleasance do it. Um, again, an, an astonishing actor there. Yeah. Uh, great um, fuss and rightly so being made about Pinter now. Died last year. 50, uh, it's the 50th anniversary, isn't it? Of, of the play. Of the play. Yeah. So it's sort of anniversary production. And it would have been Harold's 80th yeah, birthday this year. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's, you know, a word from his name has passed into the English language, Pinteresque. Yeah. But it seems that we didn't really understand it when he first started. It's only in later years that it's come to be really appreciated. Is that how it struck you? Well, I, I think the, the very first plays of his, the birthday party, was, uh, it, it lasted less than a week, I think. It was off. Um, he was championed by the critic Harold Hobson. And um, I think it's... Uh, yeah, people have discovered more about him, but the great thing about his early plays especially, they seem obscure uh, on the page. Um, that what they actually are is very naturalistic dialogue. It, um, it makes it very hard to learn, for start, yes. especially at my age. And, uh, <laughs> because you go backwards and forwards, he, you, the character repeats things, there's no, not much logic to what they say. Um, and then the, there's supposed to be the famous pauses, the pinter pauses, pinter but... Pause. When I worked with Harold in 1980, doing the first production of The Caretaker that I did, um, I asked him about the pauses, we all did, and he said they're there for you to use if, if you want them. And he said, uh, generally, they're there to tell you there's, there's a laugh. Oh, really? Yeah. It's as simple as that? It's yeah. quite simple. But I think that's the other thing people don't realise about the, this, this play especially, is that it is very funny. Yeah. It's very dark um, and can be very serious, and it's... It, you, it's very bitter and angry, but uh, it is funny. It's also clearly very demanding. Does, therefore, doing something like Pirates of the Caribbean or playing a, a Bond villain become a great palate cleanser, if you like, a great sort of relief, a good contrast to playing the heavier well, role? Well, Pirates of the Caribbean is definitely a, a re light relief and contrast. You, you get to go to the Caribbean for a start. <laughs> yeah, it's warm. Um, which you don't always do. Um, and I, I had a wonderful time because I was... They were... The main crew and main cast were there for months and months on end, and I would go in. It was like going in for a two-week holiday, and go and visit, uh, do a bit of acting, not too much, um, <laughs> put a big wig on, and uh, and come home again. And it was uh, it was great fun. Yeah, a lot of people would say, well, it's not a very big part, Jonathan. You probably think, no, it's great. It yeah, it's perfect because it's small. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Playing a Bond villain, though, I think is something yeah. an awful lot of actors aspire to. Well, just being in a Bond film, but yeah. to play the villain. Now, you join a great rank there of, you know, gold fingers and all this kind of thing. Yeah. Did you enjoy that? Did you I did. I had a great time making it, yeah. yeah. Um, the thing I liked about it was, um, it, yes, it was a Bond film, but it, it, this character... Elliot. Elliot Carver. Yeah. Um, it was based in reality. It was based in the... the um, I'm not going to say, <laughs> I I'm think say we know the, who evil, you mean. the evil press baron, but yeah. he was, it was based on uh, you know, s someone who has complete control of the media yeah. and whose papers we read every day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, it could only be uh, one because the, the other one fell off the back of a boat. So, yeah. But no, yeah. we, yeah. we know vaguely, allegedly, yeah. it might be, yeah. yeah. But fun to do. Yeah, great fun to do. And great, the, uh, more fun to, uh, to promote it after you've made it. They, they then spend a few more million... Uh, promoting it around the world and you get to 
travel and uh, private jets and you're treated... Uh, but, you yeah. know, it is <laughs> lovely to see that you still pop up in Cranford because that feels so yeah. much more homegrown. It's nice to see you. You seem very happy to do both theatre and local telly and then you're not sort of snooty about, oh, I'm just Hollywood now. Uh, definitely not, no. It's very hard to be snooty these days about Hollywood because they don't, they don't make many films anymore, especially here where there's a, a you know, usual uh, dearth in the film yeah. industry. But Cranford... Um, I didn't think I'd want to do it, uh, oddly enough. I'd, I'd watched it and I'd enjoyed it very much. And uh, the Sue Burtwistle, who produces it, I've known since we were working together in Nottingham in the early 70s. And uh, she sent me the script and I was... Uh, uh, and then it was such a great mm -hmm. character, Mr mm -hmm. Buxton. And not a bad supporting cast. No, they're great. They are yeah. great, aren't they? And the chance to work with... Uh, Judy Dench, who's yeah, uh, was lovely. Well, yeah. we thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, good luck with the rest of you running into the middle of April. Middle the of April, uh, Trafalgar, in the Studios, Trafalgar yeah. Studios. We wish you well. Fabulous reviews. Go and see it, ladies and gentlemen. Jonathan Price. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.